Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and in today's video, I bring you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get shaders working on the iOS platform. As of me recording today's video, this is the first beta and preview that this is available. And for some iOS users, this will be incredibly laggy. This will improve over time, but the method on installing shaders will still be the exact same. Pretty simple. To access this, you need to be in the Minecraft preview on iOS, and you need to be on the version 1.20.70.21 or higher. Anything below this will not work. So let me show you how to access the preview. I will leave a link to this article in the description and also in the pinned comments. This is the Minecraft preview program. The preview program is available for Minecraft on Windows, Xbox, and iOS. Android players, you have access to a beta. It's the exact same thing. Now, as you guys can see here in this article, what platform is Minecraft Preview available on? If you tap on this and then scroll down a little bit, it's going to say, how do I install Minecraft Preview? The top one is iOS and it's saying to go right here. Now, this page that it's going to take you to is this one right here. You have to tap on that and it'll take you to this and it'll say testing apps with test flights. And at the top, it does say the beta is full. That's because I'm already in this. Now, there is limited spacing. So that is why I recommend if you do have Twitter slash X to follow Josh. Because every single month, they open up spaces for players to join. So if you're not in the beta or preview already, then you're just going to have to be patient. That being said, I know a lot of you watching this will be in this. And when you tap on this, it's probably going to say... Uh, it's full. I'm already in this. By the way, if you do have access to this and you don't use it within a couple of weeks, you will get kicked from the program. So make sure you open the app every so often. One thing a lot of people don't understand is that these shaders, which are the deferred technical preview, are community driven. They're not made officially by Mojang and Minecraft. They are made by community members and they are completely free to download which means no you cannot access these via the marketplace you need to go to specific websites such as mcbedrock.com mcpdl.com and websites like that i'll leave a couple of links down below so you can check them out we are going to use mc bedrock as an example there are various websites you can use i'll leave links down below on this website on the top it says texture packs tap on that scroll down a little bit and you are going to see shaders tap on shaders now i already showed you guys in a previous video the poggies luminos dreams probably the best shaders texture pack out there but we're going to be installing a completely different one today so i'm just going to find one that i think you guys might like so we're going to check out this one mcpe slash bedrock vanilla pbr all you need to do is tap on that now, on these kinds of websites, they're typically located right at the bottom. They do have pictures showing you guys what kinds of shaders you are going to be downloading. Remember, these are extremely experimental and there will be bugs and issues for some players. If we scroll down, you are going to see we have the download links. So just tap on the download. It's going to take you to this right here. A lot of these ad links are a pain to deal with. But it's the only way you can support creators so they earn a little bit of revenue for making the shaders that you enjoy. So tap on the interesting articles. What I typically do here is just wait like 20 to 30 seconds and then close it back down. Once you've done that, it will say discover interesting articles is done and you can click on unlock content. And it will typically take you to a media file link. So you want to tap on the downloads. And then download it again. It will pop up up here basically saying that it's going to download. Now you're done. There are a couple of different apps you can use. I typically use either files or documents. Let's use files as an example. Let's go to downloads. So inside of here, we now have the vanilla MCPE PBR version 1.3. Now if I was to tap on this and try and open this in Minecraft regularly, it's going to try and take me 
to the regular Minecraft. Well, that might happen for you. For me, I've got incredibly lucky here and it's just going to open up within the preview and it's successfully installed. Now, if you have the problem where it doesn't try and open in that version, number one, you can open the preview and then try and install the pack. But if it tries to aim it for this one, let me show you what you got to do. Inside of your downloads, hold on the pack that you're trying to download. Go to share and then tap on the preview. You might have to scroll across. You might even have to type, tap on more. And then you just want to find where it says Minecraft preview. So for example, if I was to just go ahead and then open with this, it is going to try and open it again. And at this point, it's going to tell me that it is a duplicated pack. So don't go ahead and uninstall the previous Minecraft main version. This is just what you need to do. And at this point, let me show you how to activate it. So a lot of people get stuck with this. You cannot go ahead and enable this via your global resource packs. You have to go to play, create new worlds, create new. And make sure you have the pack. I've got a couple of them here. We're just going to use the vanilla PBR. Make sure it's in the active section. But more importantly, Make sure you have experimentals turned on, specifically this bottom one right here. The render dragon features for creators. Enable the deferred rendering pipeline requires a PBR enabled resource pack and compatible hardware. Now, if you're using an outdated iOS device, it might be incredibly laggy like it is for me, or it might just not be there for you. And we're just gonna go ahead and change my settings and just get the game going. So once you have all your settings done, experiments done, resource pack done, go ahead and click on create. And be very patient here. When you join a game, it's quite possible that the shaders are not going to be activated for you. So the reason why this is, is because you need to go into options, settings, go down to your video settings and scroll all the way to the bottom. If you've done this correctly, you'll have simple, fancy, and the deferred technical preview. This will no longer be grayed out. Now, please understand this is very experimental, very laggy, and it's not that perfect right now. There are extra options you're able to tap on, which is the deferred graphics options, which I'm going to show you. Here are your graphics options. If you're experiencing heavy amounts of lag, turn them all the way down. But again, I'm using a very old iPad. If you've got a more updated iPad or more updated iPhone, this will look so much better for you. And you can tweak and change the settings. For anyone that is using a, a device like mine and it's really, really laggy, hopefully the developers will improve this. They improved it on Android, they've improved it on Windows, and they've improved it on Xbox. Over time, this will get so much better. There are currently no benchmarks. It's just free reign at this moment in time until developers can figure out where the correct benchmark is going to be. But there's some really good shaders out there and some really good websites you can check them out on as well. Community is doing a really, really good job on working on these. So if you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Have a wonderful day and happy shaders. I'll see you next time.